based on the build, and it it's kind of saves the uh, the name from before. We're gonna go with a power forward, and do I want to go six eleven or do I want to go like six ten? So six ten, I can see right off the bat gets a ninety six driving dunk. It's very hard to get a high driving dunk in this game. It's very hard to get high anything in this game uh, and still be well rounded. Um, but I think I want to go like 610. We'll go max wingspan, and then we're gonna drop our our wings or, or sorry our weight down until uh, the lowest it can go while maintaining 90 strength and 99 offensive rebound because I want 99 offensive rebound on this build, guys. Offensive rebounding is really important, um, and that's what I want on this build. So we're going to go ahead and max out offensive rebounding at a 99. Uh, defensive rebounding, I'm going to leave it 84 for now, but we might touch it a little bit later. Another thing that I find really important we're going to max speed, we're going to max acceleration, we're going to put it vertical at an 80 for now. And we're going to max out that strength as well, which is going to give us a Hall of Fame box out piece. So we are going to be able to move people out of the way to get those offensive rebounds, as well as, you know, box them out to get the defensive rebounds as well. Typically, getting offensive rebounding, offensive rebounding is more difficult uh, in 2K, so it's kind of more important to have a higher offensive rebounding, and it's slightly cheaper to have a high offensive rebound than it is to have a defensive rebound. Um, I think it costs less attribute points overall. Um, the reason I didn't have a high offensive rebound on my center build was because he was more of a stretch. Uh, he was meant to kind of stretch the floor, and therefore doesn't really make much sense to have a high offensive rebound if you're the one taking the three. Um, but we'll stick with this for now. Um, sorry, I had to check and make sure that I was still recording. We're going to go with a 95 stamina. I think 95 is good. That's a good spot. As far as block goes, we're not going to have a, uh, a 92 block to get that gold anchor. We're going to go with a uh, instead so that we can get a uh, gold chase down artist what are the requirements for okay 83 vertical to get hall of fame bogo so we're gonna go hall of fame bogo bogo stick is back this year bogo stick is very back um we're gonna bump up our anchor to 72 so that we can get that silver anchor, or sorry, our interior defense up to uh, 72, so we can get that interior defense, um, perimeter defense, I'm going to take up as well. We are six foot ten, so we can move pretty well side to side. I'm thinking maybe, um, let's see how, uh, ooh, 71 for challenger, that would be fine, 72. 71 and then I think 60 steel gets you bronze interceptor I didn't give my center build a steel and I very much regret it you cannot play the passing lanes with a low steel this year um, whenever you like swing you swing yourself completely out of the play and uh, it's it's really tough it's really tough to play the passing lanes so um, we're going to give ourselves at least a 60 steal so we can, you know, be respectable in the passing lanes. And I'm not going to lie, this looks pretty solid. Um, post lockdown, we could go up. You know what? Yeah, let's go up two more to get post lockdown. At least bronze, so we at least have the badge. Um, we could go up and get glove, but I don't see a reason for that. Uh, we could go up and get, like, big dodger at 74. Yeah, let's do that. Picks seem like they are really strong this year. Uh, I, I have bronze brick wall on my center build, and I've been putting people on the floor, so like being able to have a little bit of uh, uh, a big dodger is good. Now, pass accuracy, we're going to go with the same pass accuracy that I have on my other big, which is 68. We might raise it a little bit more here in a little bit, but 68 is really all you need. Bronze break starter. I had a lot of people in my TikTok comments saying bronze break 
like started like 68 pass accuracy oh that's not enough they apparently have never played um center in a 2k before um or or big in 2k because i'm telling you it's enough it is more than enough um we could go a little bit higher just to get like special delivery and maybe like a silver can, can we get that needle threader bronze and okay let's go needle threader bronze and silver post playmaker boost the shot percentages on passes made out of the booth post do a shooter also like silver timer if we get the offensive rebound we can dish it out boom they're taking a, a silver time shot that's pretty solid other than that, we don't need to touch ball handling. We don't need to touch speed with ball. We're not meant to be, you know, have the ball in our hands ever. But finishing, uh, let's go free throw. We'll go with like a 65 free throw just so we're respectable. Actually, you know what? Let's go 71 so we can get the free points patch. Um, and then here we have 92 out of 99. Um, I think here we just go with the rest on driving dunk. So we can at least get, oh wow, okay, so we could actually get elite driving dunk. I think 93 is elite driving dunk, so let me double check that. I have like a little cheat sheet in my Discord. Um, elite, big man standing needs 90, uh, contact elite, oh, 96 driving dunk for elites. For it has to be an 86 as well. So I wouldn't be able to get elites, uh, but I could get gold post riser. I could get gold slithery. Those are two really good badges. Um, I could always take this down to. Uh, I could always take this down to an 89, uh, so that I can just get the pro driving dunks. Um, that could be solid, and then maybe put the rest on standing dunk, so that I can get at least a little bit of like standing dunk around the rim. And honestly, if I could get that standing dunk to an 80, I think we would be in business. So let's take our pass accuracy down. Uh, can we get standing dunk to an 80 if we just take our pass accuracy down to uh, 69 so we can still keep that silver special delivery? 80, there we go. 80 is pro big man standings. So we can still get rise up. Oh, man, we could get Rise Up Silver if we go up one more. Okay, you know what? We're going to go down here. Yeah, we don't need that. We don't need that bronze free points. It's only for clutch situations. We, we don't need that. That's not important. I would say Rise Up Silver is more important. Um, we have a low close shot again, but this isn't meant to be somebody that's like in the low post. Um, you know, putting up close shots. This is this is a run. This is a uh, run rim running uh, defensive break starting build um, that can catch lobs. You know, standing dunks, standing lobs, driving lobs. Uh, can maybe get a, you know a driving layup. Seventy three driving layup isn't the best, but I could always go down. Let's, let's see if we can go down to like a sixty five free throw. actually a really good badge to have I'd imagine uh, this is more with like it says improves a player's ability to make skill dunks I think this is like um, dunk meter dunks and then let's see how close are we to like another driving layup driving dunk okay so there is silver can we get there we go we got silver acrobat acrobats are really underrated badge in my opinion um, This looks good I'm not gonna lie this is this is pretty much the process that I go through every single time I make a new build just min maxing everything uh, so silver if you take that down you get silver acrobat taken away if you take close shot down it does the same thing if you take down driving dunk you lose gold driven gold precision dunker if you take down that standing dunk you lose silver rise up if you take down post control you're gonna lose the 90 strength we want for Hall of Fame box out beast. Um, you have to keep 
your mid-range, uh, somewhat respectable to have a good free throw. We do want that 65 free throw. Um, I could always go down to like a 50 free throw, but like, again, I want to be, you know, I want to be able to hit at least some free throws. 69 pass accuracy is actually higher than my center's pass accuracy, which my center does just fine. It's going to give us break starter, it's going to give us timer, it's going to give us post playmaker. Special delivery is always a fun batch to have. Interior defense is um, not the best, but again, this is a uh, power forward. I'm not, you know, I, I'm, I, it's respectable silver anchor. 87 block, I have solid chase down abilities, uh, gold chase down artist. Um, we have a 60 steel, which is respectable. Again, this build can shoot, but that's okay. I, I, again, I think in this 2K you can get away with not shooting. I think defense is a, is a major role, and being able to get rebounds, like sitting down in the low post, like letting everybody else take shots. I'll just grab the offensive boards and throw it back out to them. It's fine. Uh, I feel like this build would be pretty solid in park. With the 90 strength that you have, gold brick wall, you can set insane screens with gold brick wall. Um, but, yeah, you guys can't. I just realized because of my placement of my, um, of my webcam, you probably can't see all of the badges we could probably, let's see, can we take, we could take vertical up one, do an 84, let's maybe take our, yeah, we don't need 95 stamina, because we're not going to be able to get gold workhorse anyways, we could take, um, let's see, 75, the 77, there's no difference there. 74 to 77. There's no difference there. Uh, you know what? Let's maybe bump up our defensive rebounding by one. Because that's going to be important. You know? That's going to be important. 85 defensive rebound is still pretty solid. Um, go 94 stamina. This, this right here looks pretty legit. Um, maybe if precision dunker isn't as important as I think, I could take that down and see what we have here. Let's see what we have. Shades of, it's going to be Hot Rod Williams, uh, Evan Mobley, and Aaron Gordon. Okay. Very, very nice. What is this? Glass cleaning and deer threat. So we didn't get the, uh, the name that I liked, but that build right there looks to be like a really good, this is kind of like the, uh, the old school, like paint beast. Um, much as close as you can get. You could technically take the strength down, probably, but like like I said, these high strength badges are really, really nice. They are really, really nice, and I'm afraid if I take my strength down, his defense is going to get um, even worse than it already is, even more average than it already is. So I'm gonna keep the high. I'm gonna keep the high strength, and we're gonna move on to our next build, which is gonna be more scoring focused. So again, if uh, if this was, um, you know, I'm sure some of you guys are probably watching that saying, "Oh my God, he can't shoot. Why would you make a build that can't shoot?" I hear it all the time. Listen, this game's not always about shooting. The next build that I want to make, and this honestly will probably be my next. Uh, build, uh, you know, rebirth-wise, I'm going to probably take the feedback from this video, so leave a comment in this video of which one of these builds is your favorite, uh, but this one is probably going to be the build that I go with, uh, as of right now, unless you guys convince me otherwise. We're going 6 foot 10 small forward, we're dropping his weight down, uh, because we need that extra... Actually, I just think, I think I want like 80 or so, let's see, uh, what did I have, box out beast, I think I want a 
say I just went minimum weight. Yeah, and then uh, high enough. Let's see. Oh, because oh, that's what it was. Okay. Uh, I dropped his uh, his arms, his wingspan down to six foot eleven, so that he could get an eighty-five three ball. I'm looking at the uh, the top right hand corner, which is covered by, uh, of course, my my webcam. Uh, you can't see my S tier badges, but um, gold corner specialist. Um, we could go all the way up to six foot ten, and then we have uh, silver agent threes. I may just go minimum wingspan, honestly. It's not really a reason to uh, to go any higher. I don't, I don't think. Um, let's see. Is there a better, let's see, do 12 would give us 86 strength. I could always go 219 to get 90 strength. So, wow, 219 on a 6 foot 10 build can get 90 strength at minimum arm wingspan because of, okay, yeah, I think that, that sounds glitchy. Having 90 strength, 90 strength at 219. 76 speed with 90 strength. That sounds kind of different. So let's let's do that. I, I I'm all about making different builds. I'm all about making different builds. We can go all the way up to an 89 driving dunk to hold up 89 driving dunk that gets us the pro contact dunks. We can go up to a 86 three ball which gets us the silver agent threes. Let's see if we can go higher on our mid range to get maybe some more badges open looks can we get a gold green machine there's gold green machine there's gold blinders gold dead eye hall of fame catch and shoot at 93 mid range i low key kind of want to put the ball on the floor a little bit more with this build uh we'll we'll, we'll see if we can get away with it let's go ahead and max ball looking nice if we can make this work that would be massive let's go 95 stamina with uh let's try and go like 80 okay there we go we got 82 wow 82 perimeter defense gets a silver challenger this is looking really nice this is looking really nice we're gonna go 72 steel hold on hold hold the phone hold the phone guys this is looking nice. I do want to have a little bit more of a layup. Let's go maybe with an 80 layup so it's a little bit respectable. We don't need a close shot that bad, but I'll go 68 so we can get masher. Uh, post control. Let's go ahead and get the free points. And then let's put the rest on pass accuracy. Or, you know, a good bit on pass accuracy so we can Hold on, man, hold on. What are we missing here? I know we're missing like a rebound. I mean, but we are a small forward. Am I am I missing something massive? I mean six foot ten. I do I do probably need a little bit of a rebound, so we'll go like can we go up to can we get silver rebound chaser with this? How close are we? Oh, we are away from silver rebound chaser uh let's go a little bit higher there we go 223 so we can get silver rebound chaser hold on dude this build looks crazy this build looks absolutely crazy 91 bulldozer improves a ball uh, handler strength and overpowering defenders we can get gold bulldozer I think I've, I, I may have just broken the game. I may have just broken the game. I'm, I'm, I'm like seeing this all for the first time. Silver defensive rebounding or, or silver um, rebound chaser. Uh, 
85, 85, let's see, 85 defensive rebounding would get us gold box out beast. Do we want to go up even higher so we can get the 95? Or does that kill our speed with ball? Big driver Hall of Fame requires 65 speed with ball. Did we lose anything by going up in speed, up in uh, hyperdrive 75 speed with ball? 77. Yeah, I don't I don't think we lost anything there. Okay, 77 pass accuracy. Guys, I I mean like if you're at this point, you can pretty much probably put whatever you want, you know, um, in whatever categories you would prefer. I mean, we could go up on to 50, but that, I mean, I feel like even having a 50 block isn't really worth it. I think I'd rather just take my interior defense up to just make it a little bit better. Um, if you wanted a little bit more finishing, we could go higher on our layup. 91 driving layup would get us, or 84 driving layup would get us, you know what, let's do that. Let's get a gold acrobat. Can we go up to a 91? Oh my god, we can. Oh my goodness. A 91 driving layup for gold slithery, which actually brings our close shot up to a 70, which is very respectable. Guys, this looks glitchy. This looks insane. Uh, somebody you know you, you guys might say oh he's he, you know he's got minimum wingspan he's not gonna be able to play defense he's not gonna be able to yeah the minimum wingspan is how we were able to get 92 shrink which gets us gold bulldozer we're gonna be able to put the ball on the ground we're gonna be able to hall of fame big driver we're gonna be able to bully people make it a little bit better no so that doesn't get us anything better three points mid-range you could probably take your mid-range down to, uh, to a 90. Uh, so you keep gold dead high. And, I mean, 90 is plenty high. Pogo stick, posterizer, aerial wizard. This is, this is pretty crazy. I'm sure probably somebody's like screaming at me in the comments like, hey, do this different, do this different. I mean, I can go all the way up to an 87 pass accuracy if I take his big range down just a little bit. I mean, that is just like... Having a high pass accuracy is like really important, honestly. Not really for bigs, but for somebody that's playing the wing. Yeah, this is uh, this build is offensively minded, but still has an 82 perimeter defense. Can still get rebounds and maybe like a 3v3 setting, six foot ten. Um, you know, in a 3v3 setting, 92 strength. Oh wait, wait. Okay, so we talked about maybe going up to get box out beast. Wait, what do we need? For box out, we need uh, 95 defensive rebounds, so we would need two more defensive rebounding. So let's see, let's see if we 95 defense. What did I just lose? Okay, so I lost gold, uh, silver challenger, and then okay, so there's gold. Okay, so we would basically be trading. We would be trading um, silver challenger. We're trading one. We're trading one perimeter defense for two defensive rebounding. And honestly, to get gold box out beast, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. It makes us a little bit slower too. Um, this 
is something else. This is something else, guys. Gold box out beast with 92 strength. You're gonna be able to buy, like this build is going to be be able to box out even some of like the biggest bigs. Uh, unless somebody's got a Hall of Fame box out beast, which my center does have. Um, wow. I, I think we can end the video because uh, this is this is definitely what I'm going with. Unless you guys say otherwise, I, and I'm 99.9% .9 sure you're gonna say that this is the way to go. But in case I just have like major blinders on, uh, you guys let me know in the comments if if I'm tripping or not. I go 98 stamina so I can just sprint around all the time, and then I'll put the rest on free throw. either free throw or offensive rebound and there's no reason to put it on offensive rebound I guess I can put it on yeah I mean it's either one on post control two on offensive rebound or oh wait vertical hold on didn't I say I wanted vertical a little bit higher for something no no um, yeah we're gonna go free throw and that's it seven foot ten minimum wingspan to get some crazy high strength this build is a bully scotty pippen franz wagner and michael porter jr diming three level threat that's sick that's a sick name a three level threat is like one thing but a diming three level threat is something completely different guys um that is gonna do it for this video I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I have to start putting these, I, I want to play with this build immediately.